Hello, friends and fellow board gamers. All right, we're going to go see if we can ride the rails here. Now, I'll do a brief... I mean, this game doesn't require much of an explanation if you've never played before. If you have, you'll know the drill. It's pretty straightforward. We're going to play some solo. And we're just going to play the basic one. So we're going to play against uh, Marg Lobot. I think we'll just do one just for the first game here. So the basic idea is that we're trying to build a little railway. Uh, we are yellow and we get to choose the routes we want to do. These are the tickets and these are the things you're trying to complete over the course of the game. So you get points at the bottom right hand corner and you get to keep two of them to start. At least one of them you have to keep. And then you basically are going to try to collect colored cards on the right hand side and those cards uh, go with these routes. So if I want to complete this blue route, I need blue trains. Uh, and if I want to do orange, I need orange. And I've got 45 trains total to lay down track with. And that's basically it. We're just competing to do this. You can see some routes only have one path. Some routes have two paths. So some are going to be easier, some will be harder. So now we get to decide what we want to do. Now I think because uh, you can see the Montreal to New Orleans route on the right and the Dallas to New York are both kind of, they, they're going to, there's going to be some track reuse, I think. So I think I may take those two tickets and we'll choose those cities and we'll see because what if we finish one, we're almost done the other. So I think I'm going to come down here and across and that'll be our starting kind of uh, our opener with all of that. Now. The blue route is, that's the one of a kind. That would be nice to do. The, the longer route you do, you can see the tiny little score here. If you do three trains in one thing, you get four points. If you get two trains, you get two points. You start getting higher though, six trains, that's a 15 point route. So the more trains you put down for the route, the better. The harder it is, the better it is for scoring. That's basically the game. It's pretty straightforward. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a blue train and then I'll grab, uh, grab a black train because we know we're going to need black or orange for this route here. I'm just going to grab a couple cards off the deck. It, it seems to be the beginning of this game is often a card drawing festival uh, as you decide how you want to go at this. Now I'm going to assume I might need orange for down here, so that's what I'm going to go for. I'm going to take that blue train there. I'll take one off the deck again. I'll take another orange car. And another one off the deck. So I've got more black than I need here for trains, so we'll just use the excess one somewhere else. Um, hmm. It's a tough one. Oh, that's a luck. So if you get a rainbow colored uh, engine, that is going to be, you can use it on any route. And if you normally grab it here, you can only grab one card instead of two. Uh, if you grab it at the top of the deck, as we did, you can end up getting a couple. Um, let's see here. So we can at least maybe get started with the we'll lay down some track here. Let's go with the blue route. And that's our turn. You can either draw cards, lay down trains, or take more tickets. We're not at the taking more tickets part of the game yet, so we'll just do what we can here. Okay, now uh, we don't really have, we don't have a lot of twos. I wasn't thinking that one out too clearly, although what we can do is we'll just go like that and throw down the two black trains. Okay, so now I'm going to take that orange card. And uh, I don't see a pink or a uh, white, so I'm just going to take one. There we go, we got two red ones. So now I can use the red trains here. Perfect. So it's hard to say. You can see they're not laying down a lot of track yet, the, uh, the, the bot. So we don't really know what routes they're going for. So we've completed, boom, one ticket. Montreal to New Orleans, done. Uh, now we, we, we've gone through New York. All we need to do is we need to make it over to uh, to Dallas here. Now the question is going to be, how do we want to do it? Let's see. I'm just going to, there we go. So took a chance and we got the, the cars we need. So we got a pink set there and we got a white one. They're still just drawing cards. Margbot has a bazillion things going on. So on the next one here, what we might do we can draw now more tickets and then we have to keep at least one there they make sure you are you sure you want to do that oh i was kind of in a way secretly hoping this one would come up so this route we can again utilize a lot of our track that would be a stretch for us we might be able to do it 
And that one also, it, it could be possible. We have 29 cars left, which is quite a few. So, <laughs> how adventures are we feeling? I think I'm actually going to take both of these. And we're going to see what we can do. If we don't score it, we lose those points at the end of the game. So, there is definitely a risk to doing it. But we'll see how we make out here. So, I ideally would like to get, you know, a whole pile of black cars or, at the minimum, uh, three, two, and and six. So <laughs> I'm going to take green. Let's go green. Oh, they're throwing down some cars now. This will be interesting. Now I can, I can go either uh, red or pink. I think I'm going to go for red. There we go. Okay. Yeah, they're starting to chuck them down. I'm going to go through. I'm going to take these coal cars here. we got three of them now. Ooh, there's another one. And I'll take another one. This is good. So I need one more. Uh, let's see here. What else do I have? Hmm. It's hard. <laughs> it's hard to say what I want. We've got four rainbow cards, which is good. Uh, okay. Now we got five. There we go. We got our five coal cards. Now that's good. I may just put these here because now I've got two routes I can possibly get over to Winnipeg with. Now, I need six of a kind to get over on the next leg of our journey here. I'm going to maybe try orange. It's... I'm not seeing it. They've got 20 trains left, so they got a little bit to go. If you get too many rainbow cards up on the top, it basically does a reef. It flushes out the deck. You reset the deck. Oh boy. That's a lot of stuff there. Um... Well, I'm, I'm shopping for orange cars, because I, I reckon we can do the orange. I'm kind of tempted to almost try it very soon here. Well, let's see. Yeah, I got more green. They don't know what we have. This is the, the trick. We've got six rainbow cards. I might just start using them. Okay, I'm going to put down orange here. We finished the Winnipeg route. Winnipeg to Houston. 12 more points. Now we're trying to get to Miami. That's our next one. Two, four, five, two, four, six. See, I would love to get the red one. There we go. We got another red car. We got three red cars total. Okay, they're down to 10 trains. So, I'm down to 18. You know, ideally, I could throw down some more track, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to complete this route. So they're down to seven cars. See, they're dumping. So they they smell endgame. They know that they're ending very soon here, so I think that tells us we should maybe do the same. What I would like to try to do is... Now, I'm not going to claim any more tickets. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to claim a chunk of route, because you do get points for the longest route. Uh, there's 10 points at the end of the game for the longest route. They got seven cards, we got six. You kind of want to use up what you can at the end because you don't want to be stuck with a whole pile of cars. Uh, well, like I said, also, if you get the longest route, who's, uh, um, I don't know. They, I feel like they're going to call end of game here pretty quick. Oh boy. Okay, that's uh, very close. I think I'm going to claim Calgary to Winnipeg. And I'm out of train cars almost, aren't I? Am I? Yes, okay. There we go. Two cars or less. That triggered end of game. I have no more cars. The game's over. So. Oh, uh, do I have to do anything? Oh, I see. I can't do anything. Now, I could attempt. Here's the... <laughs> this is the big... What? I didn't finish a route? Which route did I not finish? you got to be kidding me. Oh my gosh, I did not finish the Boston-Miami route. I am such a bonehead. <laughs> That's hilarious. I wasn't even thinking along with that. Well, I'm going to lose 12 points. So I might gain some points at the end for the longest route, which I'm pretty sure I will, but I will lose 10 points or 12 points for that route. That was a silly mistake. The bot might have caught me there. That's why I've still got the chance. Uh, what you can do sometimes at the end of the game, I've seen, um, especially I've seen kids do it, they will just go they'll get a pile of route down and they'll go crazy drawing tickets and they'll do a risk reward and they'll basically go well 
there's a good chance I filled some big roots, and I will hope I can balance my positives against my deficit. I think we're just going to pass. So we don't have any cars anyway. Oh, uh, what, what do we... Uh, I guess we just draw then. Okay. And that's the end. Okay, so the tension is in. Look at that. Oh. So we had our base points just from laying down trains as we went. We got some nice chunks of coin. And then I lost 12 points. Ouch. So if they scored 34 or more in roots, they've got me. Oh, it's close. They didn't they didn't fulfill a 10 point route. And we got the longest train. So we won that round. 124 to 92. Very nice. Uh oh, well, sure. Well, we'll Oh, I see. We got to we'll claim the uh That's only because this is on PC. On iPad, my my family would probably crush me on this game. Um, I think we'll do a rematch. We that went fairly quick, and now we don't have to explain the rules. Let's do a let's do a quick one here. So what do we have? We've got hmm these that Los Angeles and this one look like good routes. There's a lot of options in the middle there, and then this one. You know what? We could if we get that one, we can pick up that one. So if we come along here, and then branch up at some point and get these other two routes, we're actually good. I'm just gonna choose them. Let's do it. This is going to be a, a hair-raising one if we can... Because we need some pretty specific route, I, ideally. So let's... Oh boy, they're already in there. They're already in there. So there's a green train. Well, uh, that's nice. Okay, I'll take that red train. Yeah, there's, there's my red trains coming in. Okay. Alright. Huh. We're just drawing a lot. Oh, good. We got some coal cars. We need the black cards. Okay. Um, again, he's because there's no hand limit. It gets it gets out of control very fast. You know, I think I'm just going to lay down th that, those ones right there. So what I'm going to do. Um, now you know what? There's a lot of orange possibilities. There's not a lot of white segments. Although there is a there, isn't there? Um, hmm. You know what I'm going to do, actually? I'm going to do this. I, You know, when you play with normal players, I don't do any, like, blocking. Like, that's normally the house rules at our table is no blocking. Nobody blocks a route. We try to be fairly decent about it so that nobody gets their feelings too hurt. Because this game can get mean. <laughs> it It can get super mean. There we go. Oh, good. We got another coal car. Another one. So we need one more coal car or a rainbow car. There we go. Two rainbow cars. So I think I'm going to lay that track down. Now they must know our plan at this point. But thankfully the bot is probably not the smartest. Let's just fingers crossed on that one. But usually if you do online play, people are brutal. <laughs> Like this this game is a mean game. It's it's really interesting. It can both be a mild, uh, leisurely experience played with friends and family, or it can be an utter bloodbath if you play with people who are like just ruthless at it. If they play like a, a true railway baron, um, then it can get a little bit more like unpleasantly competitive. <laughs> See, we always set the rules ahead of time. Lay down. Okay, what's the? Uh, how are we going to do this? <laughs> we tend to play pretty chill. Oh uh, boy, I'm not seeing green cards. I don't know. I might. I'm not seeing red cards either. See, we've got a lot of other junk here. You know what I'm going to do? Oh, I'm very torn. Because in part of me is like, I want to start grabbing some other route. Because I know I could go up to here, or I could go up the coastline here as well. I think I'm actually going to go up the coastline. Why not? I'm just going to take it. Uh, I, all I really want is that El Paso to Houston line. So if I get either red trains... So they're crisscrossing through the middle and north. I don't know what they're going after. 
Oh boy, we're not drawing the cards I want, that's for sure. Okay, there we go, we finally got another green card. I like that they're just drawn off the deck as well. Now theoretically, okay good, I could have done it, but I didn't want to waste all my... Oh boy. So there we go. That'll end up, uh, that should punch all three of our cards. But I have way too many trains left. I could have scored way more points. I'm at 63, they're at 88. They've got us at 25 points. But we might have them on route length. It's hard to see with that zigzag mess. So let's see. We, we cashed in some... And they were lucrative routes. We got some decent routes for sure. Those are nice long haul routes. So we're at 109 points. They did not gain the Sault Ste. Marie card. And the Winnipeg to Little Rock, they didn't get either. What did they get? Oh, what? that? They just botched that. I don't even know what they were trying to do there. That was too easy. Okay, we, we won again. Yay. Oh, a new high score for all maps. Okay, well, why not? We will uh, we'll, we'll, we'll claim it again. And that's that. There's, there's a lot of things we can do. One is we can play uh, with more AI, which makes it a lot more challenging because those dual routes get chewed up really fast. So this was about as easy as it gets, really. I mean, you, we, had all, we both had all the options in the world. Uh, but when you start playing with higher player counts, even as a physical board game, it, it's a lot of like, are they going to take the route? Am I going to be able to get what I'm looking for? So every time you grab new uh, train cards, it's a big risk reward and you really go, oh, so it's it's a light game, but it can have a lot of tension, I think, at the higher player counts. Uh, I think it, we'll see. Let me know how you guys enjoyed this. Uh, if you want to see some more, I'll try, I'll try it with higher AI uh, player counts. And uh, then we can possibly look at some of the other maps, because that is the one nice thing about a game like this. It's been around forever, is there are a ton of different maps, and some of them are quite fun. Uh, they add little new elements to the game. At any rate, hope you enjoyed, and we will see you all next time. Till then, bye-bye.